All right, so the question I get is, how can I sell snacks online? And I was looking to figure out what is the way to actually sell snacks legally online? And the other question was, can I sell homemade snacks online? So if you are looking to create a snack food business or even just have a great recipe for a snack and you're trying to figure out, can I sell it snacks online? In this video, I'm actually gonna cover how you can do it legally and the steps to do it properly in order for you to create a successful business through e-commerce. And we're gonna get into a couple of those right now. So. If you are brand new to Marketing Food Online, welcome to our podcast and, of course, our YouTube channel. As always, we're going to be streaming these and uploading both our podcasts and videos. Uh, the past few videos that we've done, we've actually incorporated our podcast. And if you didn't know, we do have a podcast. Check down below in the description section below this video. There will be links to all of our different platforms. We have, I believe, 11 or 12 uh, pl platforms that we're on with our particular podcast. So uh, if you don't know me, I am Damian Roberti. I'm founder and CEO of Marketing Food Online. I'm an e-commerce food entrepreneur. My wife and I have been online for quite a few years. And of course, we love to bring you guys tips and tricks to help you get your food businesses started. If you're creating a packaged food product or creating a food truck, uh, I owned and operated a retail break bakery, an Italian bakery a few years back. And my wife and I have been in the food business for quite some time. So we get you guys' questions, the subscribers' questions, and also questions from our podcast listeners. Um, in this particular video, let's go into how can I sell snacks online? So number one, yes, you can sell snacks online. Number two is you can definitely do this through the internet on any platform, be it Shopify, be it Wix, even Amazon, uh, eBay, or Etsy. But le the legalities of it, you want to make sure that you are a legitimate business. And what I mean by that is if you're selling homemade snacks from uh, from home and you want to do it online, there's a way you can do that too within the cottage food laws, but I'll get into that in just a second. But in order for you to do it online through these platforms, you need to be commercially licensed. You need to have a business license. You need to register for your EIN number. You need to make sure you have an employer identification number. Okay, that's for the IRS tax purposes. And make sure that you have any other permits or licenses within the city and county that you plan on selling your snacks and selling them uh, through e-commerce, make sure that you have those specific, that kind of varies. So I can't necessarily speak on every single county or city in the United States, but check with the city and county that you live in and see what specific permits or licenses that are required. Some places require just a business license and of course, food business insurance. And then from there, you have the opportunity to be up and running. Now, in order for you to sell it online, you need to obviously have a website. So if you go to a GoDaddy, you wanna do it through Wix, uh, dot com. You can even do it through Weebly or Shopify. Uh, Shopify is one that I highly recommend. I've actually used Shopify to build out a couple of our e-commerce businesses. And I've also used Weebly that actually handles Weebly.com is the website builder that I used also to create our snack candy business that we've got. Um, so you want to develop a website, but you don't want to rely on that. You want to also have a presence on eBay or Amazon and then get onto Walmart.com and then eventually onto Amazon. Amazon being the last resort for you to sell your snacks online. The reason why is that I recommend to all my clients when I do consults, and of course to you guys watching and listening on our podcast, make sure that you've got some experience first. Don't just hop on e-commerce and think that it's something you can do. I've been on it for 12 years. Uh, we just recently opened a, a Fiverr st uh, a store on Fiverr, a website on Fiverr selling services, and we're learning about Fiverr now. There's constantly something to learn and know about e-commerce uh, businesses. Amazon, we've been on there for eight years. We're still learning a lot of the ins and outs, and it's always evolving and changing. So if you're gonna go into kind of like the, the big boys and play with the big boys in the big league on Amazon, get some experience on eBay and Etsy. I firmly believe that it's a much more uh, a greater platform for people to get beginner experience. And uh, if you're just beginning to sell snacks, go on there, see how other people are selling snacks. Um, of course, then the next question is, Damien, isn't it kind of saturated with it? I am never going to believe that the internet is saturated with anything. It's just too big, too big. The thing that's going to differentiate your success selling snacks online is going to be the fact that you need to market it, promote it, advertise it, market it. You need to be on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, everyone in between, even LinkedIn. You need to be on these different platforms and the way you market it will dictate the success you have. If you came to me tomorrow and said, hey, I have a snack business. Can you show me the direction where I need to go? I could definitely tell you within a matter of eight months to a year, you'd be successful. Okay. Um, but again, it also depends on how you uh, define success and how much you're looking to make. Are you going to become a millionaire in five or six months? No, 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 no. That's not how it works. And that's not how it works. Um, if you ever hear stories about people succeeding and telling you that they're making millions of dollars in less than a few months, that's nonsense. It's absolutely nonsense. Um, I've been on it for 12 years, and it, it's a huge challenge to build a, a following, 
conversion, getting people to buy the product, getting people to your websites, getting people anywhere. So marketing is going to set you apart when you begin to sell your snacks. Now, if you're going to sell snacks, let's talk about the packaging and what you need to follow with the FDA. Now, the FDA gives guidance, gives guidelines as to what they expect as far as the packaging, the, the uh, nutritional information, ingredient listing, and all of that good stuff. So number one, you need to make sure you have a logo. You need to create a brand. If you're gonna sell snacks online, you gotta have a logo. If you don't know how to make a logo, don't worry about it. Check the link down below. We have some links to Fiverr. Fiverr has actually created a lot of our, our logos for our businesses. We've done over two dozen of them. Um, they have been fantastic in creating all kinds of stuff that you don't have to pay a fortune for, but you do need a logo. You wanna create a brand, a look, an image to your product, okay? Next up, the label on the front has to have the net weight. That is the amount of the snacks, what other kind of snacks you're making. I don't care if you're making popcorn, if you're doing mixed nuts, if you're roasting something or making a candy, whatever that is, make sure that the net weight, the amount of the product minus the packaging is on the front predominantly and easily to, re easily to read on the front, okay? On the back, your nutritional analysis. If you don't know how to make a nutritional analysis, again, don't worry about it. I have a link down below in a recipe, recipetow.com. There's a website where you can actually type in your recipe into their, their software. It will spit out a nutritional label for you and you simply download that PDF file and print it right directly on your label. Don't know how to make your own label and print it? I highly recommend you do not have someone print the labels for you. It's gonna be very expensive and when you first start a snack business and you're looking to figure out how to sell snacks online, you need to make margins, you need to make a profit. And I'm gonna tell you, you need to print them yourself and go to onlinelabels.com. Again, those links will, will be down in the description as well. And I have some other videos here on my channel that show you how to actually incorporate the nutritional label and print your own snack label. You can do this all yourself. Next up. Make sure you have an ingredient listing, okay? You need to have all the ingredients that are in that particular snack. If you're making a chip, if you're deep frying chips, if you're making roasted nuts, whatever the seasoning is, all of that needs to be on your ingredient listing, okay? And then also you need to put a little bit of information, which is really good about really small family run businesses, food businesses, is the little story. Put a little story, a little history about who you are and how what and to get you started on the back of the label because people love to hear about how you got started. It is a big portion of how you're gonna market and promote your product is people wanna understand exactly how you came to do what you're doing, okay? It doesn't have to be a long thing about two sentences in the back. It's something that's definitely unique and you need to put on. Now, do you have to put that on there? No, you don't. But I would recommend you do that because a lot of consumers love to hear about this, the backstories of, of food businesses and small family businesses in general. So you wanna make sure you've got an allergen li listing also, an allergen warning on the back. So you wanna to go to the FDA website, and I'll have that link too down below as well to help you out, right to the what the FDA expects as far as the actual allergen listing. You need to have a, a, a label on that as well for your allergens. So if you happen to be handling something that has egg or dairy or nuts, you've got that on the allergen label. So if somebody's allergic, they don't get sick, okay? So can you successfully profitably sell snacks? Yes. Now, next up, Damien, how do I price this? You know, selling a $5 bag of, of product, a snack online is not gonna make you money. I can guarantee you that. In order for you to be successful selling snacks online, you need to make sure your pricing is right. You're only going to achieve profitability by bundling. You need to make the transaction worth about $25 to $35. It needs to be in that window. Why, Damien, is that a special window? Because here's what I'm gonna tell you. If you go to eBay and you create a snack product and you sell it for $5.99, because it's a half a pound a bag of whatever it may be. Well, there's going to be fees involved with every bit of that transaction. Okay, if you're through, doing it through PayPal, they're gonna take a fee. eBay has a listing fee when it sells. And if you're gonna relist it, they're gonna charge you for that. Um, when it comes to selling it and you're gonna do shipping, are you gonna offer free shipping or are you going to charge your customer? There's not too many customers who are actually going to spend the time going up and actually spending $4.99 and spending $10 to ship it. Keep that in mind. But if you're selling six bags of it and it happens to be at about $35 and it costs six or $7 to ship, customers are more willing to do that. They're not gonna spend five bucks for a product and it takes eight or $9 to ship it. Do you understand? So in order for you to make it profitable, can you sell snacks online and make money doing it? Yes, you can. Be sure that you know each platform's selling fees. Be sure to know that you need to price point it so it's actually a value to the customer. Don't just start randomly selling things and thinking that you're gonna make 80 cents on this and 90 cents, that's nonsense. You're wasting your time and money, okay? So you wanna look onto the platform, figure out what the selling fees are, figure out how much is the cost of the product that you're making, or are you simply reselling snacks? 
That's a whole nother gamut. You can definitely resell snacks, buy these snacks in bulk, get it wholesale, break it down and sell it individually if you wanted to, or again, three or four or five or six bags at a time. So if you're gonna make the snack, make sure it's labeled properly, make sure your price point. Or if you're gonna buy it, make sure you're getting this, obviously, at a price point that's gonna be profitable. Buying it in bulk and re-breaking it down and selling it, you can definitely do that. There's people who do that all the time. Okay, so you wanna make sure that whichever business model is going to work for you, making the snack or just reselling the snack, you wanna make sure that this individual transaction, that has to be around 30 bucks, okay? And the other reason why I say that is that we've, we've been online for about 12, 13 years now. It's going on 13 years next year. Um, our average ticket price is $27. We actually have I've gone through all of our sales on Amazon, eBay, Etsy. The average customer spends $27 with us. And we have been profitable because of that average margin, that, that average price point, because the margins are better. So I'm telling you that if you want to make money doing this, don't sell things for five, six, seven, eight dollars and try to turn over a thousand units. You need to sell like 30, 35, 40 dollars worth of product and sell, you know, obviously not as many units per transaction. Okay. So if you have any questions on can I sell homemade snacks online, and that's the other, other one as well. I was going to ask you really quick and actually explain to you about that question, was that selling homemade snacks is allowed under cottage food law only in states where they allow you to sell online, but you have to deliver it in person. So selling a homemade product and then doing it from your house, if you're able to deliver it to people who are buying it through your online website, that's allowed in the state that does it. Not every state allows this, unfortunately. Um, only a handful of states, you'd have to find out specifically if your state does this. But there is a handful of states that do allow you to sell the product online, but you've got to deliver it. Now, the problem with that is, is again, nobody's driving halfway across the state to do that. Okay, so make sure you find out for sure if you can do that. And once you create a website, you have to have a delivery radius, you know, three to five miles within your home. And you can do that le legitimately, you can. So that is the two different ways and the two different questions about how to sell snacks online. If you've got any other questions, let us know down in the comments section and I'll try to work on getting a video up for your question. And I hope to see you guys on our next podcast. Take care.